Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to episode 46 of Lab Padres SpaceX and Starbase Weekly Updates. I'm Lewis, your host. Now let's dig in. This week in Boca Chica, a fully assembled and tiled Starship 25 was relocated to the launch site, where it will begin its static fire testing campaign. Over at the build site, a Starlink dispenser was installed into an under-construction payload bay barrel section for either a future ship or test article. As crews continued their preparations for a pre-wet dress rehearsal cryo test of the Starship stack, the work platform was raised under the orbital launch mount. A ship load spreader was delivered to the launch site on Monday to lift Ship 25 off its transport stand. Rolling over into Tuesday, the Raptor work platform was lowered from under the orbital launch mount, clearing the way for cryo testing. Once the LR-11000 was hooked up to Ship 25, it was lifted into place on Test Stand B, which is configured to support static fire testing. A second replacement customs and border protection aerostat was spotted at South Padre Island. These stationary tethered blimps provide border surveillance to the area. With the rocket garden filling up with outdated vehicles, self-propelled modular transporters were relocated to the build site for the scrapping of Ship 22. Workers have been applying fresh coats of paint to the legs of the orbital launch mount to protect the bare steel from the elements. A hydraulic power unit cover was removed from Booster 8 as the rocket began to be cannibalized for spare parts ahead of scrapping. Ship 22 was removed from the rocket garden and brought to the high bay, where the overhead crane that assembled it will help scrap it. That night, Ship 27's common dome section was moved into the high bay for stacking. Peeking inside Star Factory, we can see a glimpse of the ring section stacking taking place inside, where individual rings are shaped and stacked into barrels. Wednesday morning's much-anticipated test campaign began with a fire suppression system test on the orbital launch mount, spraying down the pad. After conditioning the plumbing, SpaceX partially loaded the booster's propellant tanks. Eventually, venting was seen from Ship 24 before detanking and ending of testing procedures. Overall, the testing was similar to the previous round five days earlier. Over at the Cape, Crosby Skipper towed a short fall of Gravitas out to sea on Friday in support of the GPS-36 launch. On Saturday, Falcon Heavy and USSF-67 headed to Pad 39A ahead of a Sunday evening launch. USSF-67 is the first national security payload SpaceX launch in 2023. Recovery ship Megan returned to Port Canaveral in the afternoon with the recovered cargo Dragon capsule from the CRS-26 mission on board. Meanwhile, Falcon Heavy was raised vertical at Pad 39A. Due to the recovery limits of Falcon Heavy, the center core would be expended for this flight. On Sunday, Falcon Heavy lifted off into a twilight sky with USS F-67 on board, carrying two classified payloads directly into geosynchronous orbit. Falcon Heavy Boosters B-1064 and B-1065 then returned to landing zones 1 and 2. USS F-67 is the second mission to be flown by these side cores. Wednesday marked the second national security launch for SpaceX this year with the launch of GPS-36 and Falcon 9 Booster 1072. Crews began hanging the first of the skates on the Starship Orbital Launch Integration Tower at Launch Complex 39A on Thursday morning. The second skate was attached soon after. The skates ride the column mounted rails and keep the chopsticks carriage aligned with the tower. The first of the chopsticks, the business end of the vehicle integration at the launch complex, was lifted into place and attached to the carriage early Thursday afternoon. Friday morning, the second chopstick was lifted into place to join the first on the carriage. Once the chopsticks are fully in place, the carriage assembly will be ready to mount on the launch tower. And there you have it, another quick and concise SpaceX and Starbase weekly update brought to you by Lab Padre. We'll see you next week and thanks for watching. Lab Padre out.